Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about null safety in Dart and null safety is coming soon to your Flutter project so I want to inform you about null safety right now so that you know right now what null safety is and what will change in the Flutter APIs because this is a dramatic change in all the Flutter APIs and therefore I want to show it to you before it is actually coming. So basically what is happening right now is that we have two different type of variables. So the first variable cannot be null anymore so we can only supply it with a string value because if you try now to put your null inside, then the compiler will already warn you that this can never be null. And this is a dramatic change in all the APIs. And how you can set null with this question mark after your type. And now you can set here a null value or you can set a string value. So basically we have only to set here every time a real string inside. And for this type here with the question mark, we can now say, okay, we will have here null or a string. This will change a lot. And now the first question might be how we can convert one type of the variable to another type. So let's look at this example, for example, to make the conversion from this type to this type and basically this value here can be null or a string and this can only be not null so this needs to be a real value and here we try to put a null value to a real value so the compiler is warning you but you have this exclamation mark which you can set after your value and with this you say to the compiler okay i guarantee you that this value is never null and then you can convert nullable value to a not nullable value. So if you execute it, then everything works out fine and he will print this not nullable value. However, if you guarantee this, that this is not null, but you place here null inside, then at the runtime you will get an error. So you get here this type error because here inside we put a null value inside and guarantee to the compiler, okay, this can never be null, but we have put it to null and then we get at the runtime an exception. So this is the basic thing what you need to know if you want to convert a nullable value to a not nullable value. And now we also can look at different methods and classes to see what will change in the APIs which you are using with your Flutter application. So now if you look at this method here, we have an integer and another integer and we want to add one value to another value and the new null safety will make sure that we cannot put here a null value inside because again this needs to be not nullable and this makes also sure that here inside we don't need to check for null values because this makes sure that here cannot be a null value going inside. So maybe sometimes you have optional parameters so let's say we put this here into brackets and now we need to set here a and b. And now you see that the compiler is here complaining because this can be null. If we don't supply here A and B, this can be null. And what we can do now is to set here a required in front. Then the compiler is not saying anything more. And he will only complain at this level, obviously. So he wants to make sure that we put here the real value inside. So we can set here A and B, for example, to zero. And then is everything fine. But again, if we try to set here null inside, then he will again complain here at this level because this new type can never be null and therefore we cannot put it here inside. Instead of the required in front, we can also set something like a default value. So if he's complaining that this can be null, then we can also set here a default value, for example, to zero and this one to one. And then everything is also fine. And we also don't need to set here these values because it is not required anymore. Another thing which we cannot do directly is like setting this here to a nullable value and maybe this also because then the compiler is complaining here because he knows that this should be not null if we want to add some value because you cannot add null plus null. This doesn't make sense and will never be an int. And he's also complaining because he wants to get this value here as a not null type. So make sure that you try to put your values always inside which can not be null if you do, for example, some operations and then maybe put a required in front. So this required makes ensure that you care about this at another level and you don't need to check here if the value is actually null or not. If you have, for example, a method where you put this question mark inside, so you say, okay, this can be a null value, 
Then if you try to access some attributes or some other methods, then here, here the compiler is again complaining because this can be null and therefore maybe he gets here this null pointer exception and the compiler will warn you that you should handle this here. So what you can do is to put here a question mark in front and now this says, okay, if this value is null, then I just put here a null value inside into this print method and he will simply print null. And if this is not null, then we want to execute this statement after it. So we want to access this even attribute. And now we executed here, for example, this application and you see he will access this is even value because this is returning a Boolean and therefore he says, okay, this value is not even, so it is false. However, if you want to set here a null value inside and run it again, then he will also print the null value into the console because he will put the null value with this question mark to this print statement. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!